Hey guys, my name is Amanda. Welcome to my channel. I'm so happy to have you here today. In today's video, I'm going to share with you six peep-inspired DIYs that I really hope you enjoy. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and also hitting that thumbs up button really helps me out here on YouTube. So I absolutely love how bright and colorful peeps are and they inspired this video. I really hope you enjoy. Here's a sneak peek of what you will see later. But for now, here is an idea. I'm going to share with you how I made this adorable peep shaped bunny. So I use this yarn from Walmart and here is a close up of what it looks like. And I'm going to be completely honest with you. The price is kind of escaping my mind, but here is the barcode. It was fairly inexpensive. I believe it was around $7. And I'm going to take this awareness wreath from Dollar Tree and I am going to go ahead and wrap the bottom. I'm going to wrap the middle and I'm going to wrap the ears and to me this looks like a peep because the middle between the ears and the body looks like the head so this awareness shaped wreath form is perfect and I do believe I saw happiness created um I believe it was her channel where she had used this to make a bunny I don't know that she was going for the peep look but she did inspire me so thank you to her for that but I'm just going to continue wrapping now you may need dabs of glue here and there and when you get to the top of your ears, you will certainly need a little bit of glue. Then grab some ribbons. I grabbed these from Dollar Tree. I thought these were really pretty and they corresponded. You'll see later on me make a bow again, but this is just a quick bow where I made two loops on either side and I used two different ribbons and I also left a strip for tails. Then I'm just going to take a piece of that yarn and tie it in the middle. With every bow you make, whether you're using yarn or a pipe, cleaner or a zip tie you just want to pull it as tight as possible and fluff your bow out the tighter that it is pulled the more fluff you get so I'm going to hot glue my bow right below where my bunny's face is and then I'm going to dovetail my ends for a boutique finish and to dovetail all you need to do is fold your ribbon over and cut a triangle upward I did make a smaller bow with two loops on either side and glue that in the middle I then used a little foam ball that you can find at dollar tree and a huge pack of table scatter and you'll see more at table scatter later but here is my inexpensive around ten dollar wreath i only used about half of the yarn in that little bundle of yarn i also this other project you see off to the right i used with the same bundle and still had some left so it goes a long way here is another idea for you i'm going to show you how i made that tree that you just saw with that same spool of yarn i think it looks absolutely absolutely adorable with our bunny. I love how it matches. So this is a small tree wreath form from Dollar Tree. They have large and small. It would also be so cute to do a set, but I'm literally just wrapping this. Now in some spots, you may have to wrap over twice. As you can see, I'm not just going in one neat line. I am wrapping over some spots twice just because of the way the wire is. You may have to do that, but just wrap, wrap, wrap all the way to the top and glue it down so easily easy so simple here's what it looks like now I don't have the original packaging from this as this was from a couple years ago but all of these little foam balls come in a pack at Dollar Tree and I'm going just going to take them and hot glue them on to my tree the package has multiple colors and multiple sizes and I just thought that this was so pretty and so festive and even though it's a little bit lighter than the original peep colors it still gives me the same vibe and I just thought it was so fun I hope you like that idea and here is another idea for you super easy and fun using Dollar Tree items. So I'm using this little trifle dish, I believe it's called from Dollar Tree, and it is plastic, but it works just fine. Some foam from Dollar Tree, floral foam, and also some peeps. Those are from Walmart and some jelly beans from Dollar Tree. So almost everything is from Dollar Tree and you can get peeps at Dollar Tree as well, but I believe you only just get four to a package. This so I'm going to glue my floral foam into the trifle dish. And yes, I did leave the plastic on. I prefer to do that, but that is optional. And then you will just take three rows of your peeps and you will insert them 
between the floral foam and the trifle dish. You can also do this with glass containers, containers that you find at the thrift store, all kinds of different things. This is just so fun and easy to make. I'm using these onion glass with eggs from Dollar Tree. I'm really just clipping off the eggs and I will save that glass for another project, although you could tuck bits of grass between the eggs if that is what you preferred to do. So I'm just arranging them in here and some of them are at different heights and different lengths just to give a little bit of variety and make this look a more boutique. So I'm cutting down a couple just to get this all arranged the way that I like it. Now you will want to cover up that floral foam. So like I said, you could use some of that greenery or like me, you could grab some Dollar Tree jelly beans and just throw them in there and this just looks so super cute i used almost a whole bag but that's not necessary i just thought it was really fun this is another inexpensive but super adorable project i just love the vibes so here is another idea along that same line i went to my thrift store and looked for a large glass vase couldn't find one so i improvised this is a plastic container from dollar tree it's their large plastic container that they have where they have all of their plastic wear and then I'm going to be using their largest glass vase to me this wasn't big enough to do my projects so I'm using it as the insert now these don't work perfectly together um, once you put your glass vase down you'll see because of the shape of the larger bucket the bottom is really tight so I did try to put bunnies down there the first row and then I quickly realized that it was going to be a little too tight and my bunnies were getting all smushed and kind of smearing and it was a mess so I pulled them out and I did a layer of jelly beans first and then the container kind of starts to taper out outwards and your peeps will fit in there just fine you just need that little bottom layer covered so jelly beans works great also marshmallows would work great now again if you had a regular glass container from a thrift store that was the same size that didn't taper like this you wouldn't have that issue but I fixed it easily and then I just did a another row of peeps that fit in there real nice and then I wish I had a few more jelly beans I would have put that in the top um but I didn't. So I just filled my vase with some of these beautiful florals from Dollar Tree. You can cut them down if you like. You can put floral foam if you like. I just set mine in there in a way that I thought looked pretty. And here is my beautiful Peeps centerpiece that I absolutely love. So there's lots of different ways that you could do that one. Okay, a super bright and colorful wreath that was very easy to make. Dollar Tree's largest wreath form. You don't have to use the largest one, but I wanted to. Cover it in ribbon. I used Dollar Tree ribbon. These sequined eggs come from Dollar Tree, and they have a little ribbon on the end of it. I just yanked that out as I'm not threading them through anything, and I just used hot glue to glue them down. I purposely glued them back and forth and a little bit sideways. I didn't do them super neat. I just kind of had fun with it, but I did alternate the colors in kind of a pattern, and I believe I used about four packs, but you may want to get five just to be safe if you're using the the largest wreath form. If you're using a smaller wreath form, you can adjust to that. I also have Dollar Tree ribbons, this pretty red, a pink one, not red. Oh my gosh, sorry guys. And this purple one. Now this Peeps one is from the plus section. It is $3, but I thought it was so, so adorable. So I am going to be layering this. And here's where I actually show you how I make my bows. I just wanted to show you really well at once and not be repetitive. So here is a good tutorial um sometimes i just fold it over twice usually but this time i folded it over three times on either side and i left that excess dangling and i'm going to zip tie it so this took the whole spool of ribbon and then i am going to do that with the other color as well and i am going to zip tie it and i can zip tie them together like so and i'm just zip tying them in opposite directions I don't always do my bows in opposite directions like this, but for this one, I wanted a large, almost like floral shaped bow. So this is a super fun one to do. And the little red zip ties that I am using are from Dollar Tree. You can get quite a large package. So once that is done, just 
fluff your bow out and then I'm going to take that adorable peeps ribbon and I'm going to fold it back and forth like so until I have loops on either side you just want to make sure you have the same amount of loops for this one I'm actually going to do four this ribbon is fairly thin and I really wanted a nice fluffy bow again usually in most of my bows I only do two but I usually use a thicker ribbon so once you have four loops on either side or how many other loops you want to use you can just go ahead and attach that to the rest of your bow now I do have one tail of each ribbon and I think that's cute of course if you want more tails just add in some strips of ribbon at the bottom to add to your tails zip tie everything together hot glue it down in a space that you have reserved for it and then I just added an egg in the middle I did dovetail my tails and here is what it looks like I think it is so pretty so bright and vibrant and just looking at it makes me feel really happy I cannot wait to hang it out on my covered porch in a couple of weeks and I just think all the kids will be super excited to see it. This last one is just a really quick idea for you. So Dollar Tree has these plastic bunnies. They come like this with the bottom inside. So all you do is take it apart and snap it together. I grabbed these stickers from Dollar Tree, but they have several different ones. I put initials of my children in the bunny's belly. Then I'm going to take the bottom part of my bunny and put some treats in there. These are assorted treats that I got from Walmart, but Dollar Tree has tons of treats treats so just grab whatever you think your kiddos will like and fill it up i then place the top on top of the bottom like so to my bunnies are attached and filled with goodies i use some dollar tree ribbon to put bows on them and i just think that they are so cute of course if you don't like the colors you could paint them or do whatever you like but to me these fit in perfectly with my peep inspired decor so thank you so much for watching today my friends i really appreciate you if you are new please consider subscribing and also remember giving me a thumbs up it really helps me out here on youtube and is greatly appreciated take care friends i will see you very soon